Okay, the next step of this preparation is that we need to fit all this into our rucksack. And it becomes a bit of an art. Um, and I have a system and I, many others will as well. Um, I'm really keen to make sure that my rucksack is looking nice and neat by the end and there's no big spaces that aren't filled so that it's all nice and compact. Nothing's gonna rattle about as I move with it on my back. Now, I'll start with certain items that I'm really not gonna need during the day until I get to camp. So I will go to the bottom compartment here that's nicely separated and I will stow away the sleeping bag. So just undo that. And compress the sleeping bag into that compartment. And you may find that there's just enough space to get in the sleeping mat and the pillow. So it's nice and tidy all together at the bottom. If you do that first as well, it means that the rucksack will stand up quite nice. It gives it a base. And then go for the poles. And as I've said, just popping it down the back there, just gives some structure for the rucksack. And then pop these in. And I stand these upright so that I can see them from the top and when I get to camp, I can just pull them out without having to empty the rucksack completely. Pegs, I'm just gonna pop in a little inside pocket there at the top as well so that they don't get lost at the bottom of the rucksack. Something else that can go down the side and out the way a little bit is, this, is the trowel. And then the cooking pot, again, not gonna use that until the evening. Gonna make sure the stove is nicely protected, so using dishcloth, roll it up, and a little stuff sack that's gonna go in there with the matches and with my hand sanitizer. That with the pan is now going to go towards the bottom of the rucksack. It's not something I need during the day. Then goes in the first aid. It all needs a bit of a shuffle and you need to just slide things in into the little spaces. So my warm layer I definitely want that to stay dry. That's a little luxury for later on. So the insulated layer, I'm gonna just put into this dry bag. And it will fill a nice space in the rucksack. These are often really good items to just make sure that the rucksack keeps its shape. This is the point where you wonder whether everything's gonna fit, but it will. And a set of gloves there that I don't think I will need, but they're there just in case. I can stuff those into a corner. And then I'm gonna take the waterproof instead of the windproof today. And that needs to be accessible. It's not raining just now, but it might later. So I want it there, ready to come out as and when I need it. My wash kit, I'm gonna just put in a little bag so that it's all together. And it keeps it clean as well. And again, I might keep that fairly accessible. I might want the sun cream at some stage. And there's always some good pockets at the top to use. Um, I think we're almost there. 
water bottle again close to the top along with my packed lunch again using another dry bag just so that it's all kept together and not mixed up go to the lid again and put in my mat and compass and my head torch so really accessible as and when I need and slide the spare map down the very back of the rucksack out of the way once we've got everything in then we're gonna just pull out all the straps nice and tight so that it's all just snug and we can see if there's any really big obvious gaps where I've packed and if there is then we can just shuffle things about a bit and make sure it's nice and even if we've got particular weight that we're carrying so if you've got a flask with you or you've got some heavy food then try and put that in the middle of your pack okay not right at the bottom because that will start to pull the rucksack backwards off your own back um, and not at the top because also it might just be hitting your head a bit as you walk etc and then just figure out all your clips and do it all up there's plenty of straps on bags and quite often if say you've got you know one of those foam roll mats then you could extend the straps and it could attach to the bottom um, and you may want to put your walking poles on the side so collapse those you may not want them all the time and they'll go down the side of your rucksack too your rucksack needs to feel comfy as soon as you put it on if it doesn't and you've got a long day on the hill a common thing is that you would get sore shoulders and a sore neck and that is usually because there's just a little bit too much weight towards the top of the bag or maybe in the top pockets so make sure that the majority of the weight is in the middle area not too low either otherwise that will pull you back take the time get it right and if it isn't comfy when you first put it on then go back to the start and just repack a little it's a definite art packing the bag and the more you do it the better you'll get at it and you have to really think about where you position things otherwise you'll be stop starting throughout your walk and you won't be able to get to what you want to think about that really carefully and also try not to pack too much stuff go light but stay safe and stay warm